section, but they're going to be doing stage striking right away. Maltiger lost to Stardust? Is Bet G Stardust? If Stardust signed up for as Bet G, I'm going to be upset. I am not sure. I remember Bet G being in the last week and not actually making it that far, so that's what surprises me. Yo, Stardust, he just called you out, fam. <laughs> Alright, so in we go. Zelo playing his signature Ember and Hirakawi on Hatori. And here, here, wait. Oh god. Here. Oh no, I have to fin finish that. Kiwa. Hirakiwa? I don't know, man. What is this Hira? I'll just call him Hira. Yeah, it's Hirakiwa. Alright. Interesting. So, uh, Zelo, the clear favorite here, but Hira definitely earned his spot here, so. See if he Hira. can pull off another up that. Why so that... far, doing a fantastic job. Yeah, it's Luxury Tress going for that down line, but it actually gets punished by the Pogo Stick. It's up with the Cider, going for the unarmed. Spike Ball in hand. Here, tosses aside his spear in Hira. Doing his best to do as much damage as possible. Is, is Luxury a reindeer? Yeah. Interesting. I've never seen this skin used in tournament before. It's, it's, the, it's the holiday it's, skin. It's the holiday skin. We're using the, yeah. the, the brown color palette to make it look extra. Yeah. Extra holiday E. Who <laughs> sauces the mine aside here? Tries to go in with the D Light Cider. Actually connects as Luxury. He's taking so much damage on this first stock. He's looking to take it away. So Luxury dive. Ground pounds off the side of the map here. Kira goes for the side light. All right. Yeah. Hira is so far looking fantastic. Already getting uh, Zelo into kill percent. And uh, Zelo is was struggling to find some damage. He's already gotten Hira pretty low again. Hira hasn't been able to find the kill. That Nair actually coming close to gimping a little bit, but yeah, it looks like Hira without a weapon is uh, falling a little bit on his face. He really, really wants a weapon, but he can't pick it up. There you go. It's a luxury goes for the end light. Toss the bow aside. D-Light Cider comes in, however, and that will kill Zelexia at the side of the map, but here it could have taken a much bigger lead over Zelexia than he had right here. Zelexia was able to actually even it up to do the recovery immediately upon respawn, and Zelexia, finding his bearings, is able to even it up, and we'll see whether or not he can actually take it into a lead. Zelexia holding onto the bow, denying Hero from any weapons as possible. Spike ball goes away, down here doesn't connect, and here actually gets that net end light into a chase dodge end light, but wow, that ground pound actually connect. Like, that was weird. Yeah, um, Kira still seems to be having a lot of issues unarmed. He doesn't com uh, seem comfortable going in at all, and he uh, can't find items because he's getting weapon starved, so Zelo is just running away with this advantage. Despite it's Hira's slow, very good. But yeah, but Hira holding onto the sword goes for the downer, gets another downer to a recovery, goes is. for the side air, and actually evens it up quite quickly. It's luxury on the side of the stage, uh, weapon toss in the ground pound, comes up with the ground pound, doesn't connect, it's luxury. Dodges away from the bomb here, holds on the sword, tries to punish with a down air on that side stick that whiffed with Selexory, and manages to make it out alive. And both players are in the orange here. You know, it's funny. Here are going, he's going for a lot of throw combos and such, but he's really bad when he doesn't have a weapons. Like, he seems super confident and, uh, well, playing really good when he has a weapon in his hands. And yet he goes for these uh, throw combos that leave him without a weapon when Zelo dodges them. Yeah. Uh, Zelo does find the quick little edge guard kill there, and Hira is left yet again without a weapon, but. And now Zelo it is can't keep it. Zelo that has the stock advantage over Hira, and Hira is not actually able to even it up right away. Zelo holding on to the guitar is actually set up the side stick, but that doesn't kill okay. despite Ember's low defense. Weapon toss comes out, forces him to go low, tries to go for a weapon toss again, and Hira finds himself disarmed. Yeah, Hira is doing great with the weapon when it comes to being able to trade 1v1, but whenever he tosses this weapon aside, he always puts him in a place where he's making sure that he doesn't get it back, and that puts him in a solid disadvantage. Okay. Down stick, however. Really nice. Thrown out, yeah. catches Zelo as he picks up the spike ball, and that will end it. Oh man, double throw into neutral light from Zelos actually just put a ton of damage onto Hira. Hira actually drops his down light combo, missing a free 18 damage, but he finds the combo again and they're both equalized. Spike ball interrupts Hira from going in for another D light. I wouldn't be surprised to see him try to go for those combos over and over again, but the bomb train comes out. Both players sent flying in opposite directions, and Hira tosses his weapon in Zello's face, connects <gasps> to the end sig, that actually puts killed. Zello into the red. Weapon toss connects. Hira holds on the sword, goes for a D light, but Zello's able to go in with an end air, holds on the spike ball, puts Hira back. Hira is the so downer. Zello's is so low. 
Upatoss comes out, and Zello's not able to find a weapon, has a spike ball in hand, gets the bow, but Hira is trying to end the stock, Go, throws out the end light, and both players are at kill percent. Oh man, this is so tense. Either player could find something. That side air is actually huge. If Okay, Hira actually messed up his recovery a little bit, but... Um, wow, Hero is so close to taking that game. You can see, despite having the huge damage lead, um, Zelo actually... Wow, wait, what? Oh, it's because of the bomb trade he did. Okay, cool. So it doesn't show damage. I didn't know that. So the damage taken stat doesn't take in, or it takes in all damage, whereas damage done is only damage... Dealt by the legend directly, whether okay. the weapon they're yeah, holding yeah, yeah. is the unarmed. Yeah, I don't think gadgets actually can uh, actually count. It so. does if you throw it, I think. Otherwise, he would have less damage done. Oh, right. So when the bomb trade came out and both players ended up flying in different directions, it only counted the damage. So self-damage doesn't count. Okay, yeah. Okay. Cool. Otherwise, you could uh, inflate that Gosh, stat that quite a bit. Koji skin. Ugh. I actually quite like it in-game. I, I think that the... Uh, the shop does not do it justice. <laughs> Tengu Koji is one of my favorite skins in the game, particularly just because of that arm brace. And the bow, that it comes along with it. Both players ready to move All on right. to the second match. But here is actually making that really close. But it was just weird because some, once he was able to get Zillow into kill percent, it just looked like he didn't know how to execute finishing moves. Like he, he tried to do some stuff that was really unorthodox and it failed every time. But here we go. Selectory switching it up to Koji. After that really first, uh, close first game, perhaps he feels like he's going to do uh, better in the sword ditto. He, like he didn't back. really get any mileage out of his guitars Ooh. last game. So. Goes for that down stick and he was ready to punish with an end light. Hero holding out of the sword goes for a downer as he connects and both players are kind of sparring it out with their sword right now. Toss the sword aside, picks up the bow, using something other than that comes with the skin and the D light comes out. Selectory. Trying to do as much with the bow as possible. Tosses the side, picks up the sword against Hira's spear. Both players attack in the opposite direction and they're not really finding much uh, damage, but Hira gets the end lights off, puts him into the orange. Is trying to slowly make a decent lead. Yeah, this is interesting. Hira's like completely switched up his play style from last game and he's going for like crazy, just spacing uh, passive play as opposed to his more aggressive play that we saw last game. Ooh, but two side lights coming up from Zelectory here. He's out of jumps, however. Side air connects. Trying to do as much damage as possible. Hira, holding out of the sword, actually punishes. Wow, D-Light neutral sig coming out to be able to punish that with signature from Zello. And Hira is actually able to take the lead once again. But a, re a recovery from Zelectory is not going to be able to end Hira's stock this time. D-Light comes out, and he's running away with this lead. Another D-Light side air. Ooh, whiffs that side Drops air. Drops the side air again. That's but the second it, time. It's damage regardless. D-Light side air coming in from Zelectory to be able to respond. Goes for that GCN sig. Doesn't quite work out. And the spike ball is tossed off the side of the map. Goes Ooh. for that charge. Signature and a side air might end it. Hira. He can get back if Zelo doesn't ground pound, but Zelo knows how to edge guard. He's not dumb. <laughs> so Zelo finds the edge guard. Hira, um, in an okay position, but he really wants to find a weapon and fast. He gets the horn, and that'll give him the sword. Side airs Zelo. Hmm. So, another downlight combo from Hira, getting some uh, more free damage off of Zelo, but so far it's really just staying even. Sider's coming in from Zelexory. Zelexory gets hit by that down air from Hira, and Hira is trying to go for an end sig. Doesn't quite connect the recovery, does, and he doesn't go for the end air follow up off of that either. Hira finds himself in the orange. Zelexor's trying to slow this match down as, quick, as as much as he can. Side sig's put out, doesn't quite connect, but it feels like he's kind of got an advantage in this match. And he gets the pivot down sig, doesn't kill, but Hira is disarmed, and Zelexor chases him off the stage, goes for the ground pound. Hira oh. actually punishes the ground pound of his own. Excellent Hira turnaround. expecting the ground pound and just goes straight for the punish the second it comes out. He, uh, he knows. He knew what Zelo wanted to go for there. Bomb is disarmed from Zelexory, but Zelo actually ends up putting the bomb off the side of the stage. Goes for the dive kick into the spear that was tossed upwards, and Hero hasn't lost the stock just yet. Goes in for a side air. Zelexory hits him with the side air of his own. Weapon toss comes out. Goes for the ground pound. That's dangerous, especially in your last stock, and Hero nearly punishes it with a weapon toss. Yeah, Zelo finally finding the kill with the side air. Um, 
And again, we are in this situation where he here has a small damage lead, but he's without a weapon, and Zelo knows how to punish that. You see, he gets the free Narian, and then he takes the weapon away. Hero's just gonna struggle so much to just find a weapon. And in the meantime, Zelo's gonna get so much free damage on. Wow, that recovery into damage <gasps> is huge. But here gets oh, the ground man. pound to recovery. He's actually able to even that up despite that crazy bowstring coming out from Zelo. Mine on the ground. Hero definitely wants to toss him into that. Zelo almost looks like he's gonna slide into the mine. Both players are just kind of waiting for that to time out. D-Light side air. The mine explodes underneath Hero's character, and Hero lands on the- Side sit comes out. He doesn't have a recovery. He's dead. I think he actually could have survived if he used a downer. Fun fact.